everybody. Today, let's see and study about what. What can be seen in several ways and different types and when we see what, we shouldn't understand only one thing because sometimes it can be used as conditional, sometimes can be used request, sometimes can be used report speech, etc. So, in order to make it clearer for you, I just want to give it in four forms. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Let's say number one and when I give you some examples, maybe you will understand better. Reputation in the past. Normally in English, reputation in the past can be referred by using used to. You maybe remember used to for past habits, past actions in the past you did regularly. So for example, for one or two or three years you used to play the piano. So you used to smoke or you used to swim in the lake. So this is the action in your life, in your past life and you did it regularly for a while, for some period, for some years, for some days and months, but regularly and repeatedly. So repetition in the past also possible to use would. Let's see. For example, instead of used to, I used to swim in the lake every day. To give an example, in the past I had a house and it was located near the lake. There was a very big lake and every day, every morning I went there to swim. But this is my regular action. In the past, I did it regularly. But this is in the past, not at the moment. So I used to swim in the lake every day. Also, it is possible to use would. Instead of use to, instead of used to, we can choose I would swim in the lake every day. So I understand in the past, you did this action regularly and for some periods, maybe years, maybe months, maybe days, maybe weeks. So, but not only one time. So you did it regularly and it is in your past now. Let's see about conditionals. Maybe in if clauses, you clearly remember type two and type three, we were using would, but in type three, we use would have done. This is different. At the moment, just focus on type two because I want to give as with present model. So how can we use in type two? If I were you, so after if type, when we use past, we understand it is an imaginary situation. If I were you, I would accept that offer. For instance, one of your friends tells you she or he went to the job interview and they tell him or her very good price and very good opportunity, but your friend didn't accept and you are at the moment talking and having a chat at the moment and you give your opinion, maybe she or he can change also her mind or his mind. If I were you, so this is my imaginary, so I am putting myself and I think that I am you, so this is my imaginary unreal situation. If I were you, I would accept. So this is 
not the real life. This is not the reality. This is not real life. This is your idea, but this is her life. So just you give some opinion. You give some imaginary situation to her. And let's see with one example more. Maybe negative form doesn't matter. And in the beginning, the place is not important. I wouldn't go there. It means there is a place and then there is a possibility for another person and maybe he or she asks your opinion and you say that, hmm, I wouldn't go there. So this is reality, it is not your life. He or she is asking your opinion, like type two. If I were you, I wouldn't go there. So this is a unreal and imaginary situation, but again, present form of the verb. In reported speech, we see would very commonly and many books and many times uh, we see in some worksheets and in some books, would is always used in order to talk about will past form. For example, your friend says you, I will teach you and I say her sentence to another person for example she said she would teach me so I understand if somebody tells me a sentence in future tense and if I want to take her or his sentence to another person, if I transfer this information, I will tell that another person. She said that, for example, this is Aisha. This is the, and I say that maybe instead of she, maybe this is better to understand. Aisha says, I will teach you. And I say her sentence to another person. Aisha said, she would teach me. So I understand this is her sentence and I am reporting her sentence to you. So would also possible and it is the past form of will, but not all the time. That's why I'm giving this video. Because some people, when they say would, they say past form of will. Okay, it is the past form of will, but in some cases, not all the time. And the last one, to make it easier for you, requests. Uh, in modal verbs, I told you, maybe you will remember, some formal situations or maybe more polite questions, we can choose what. Let's see, how can we choose? Would you dance with me? So, you ask another person a request, an offer. So, it's a kind of some suggestion, offer, request. So, you do this sentence very polite way. So, you say this sentence in a kind way. So, would you dance or would you say again? For example, uh, one of your manager or one of your teachers is talking in front of you, uh, but unfortunately you couldn't hear. And you ask again, and you can ask him or her, would you say it again, please? So these kind of sentences are also possible by using would, like could, it is very similar to could. So in polite forms, you can clearly see this modal verb again. For now, about would, I just wanted to give clearly basic points, this is very important, and important points for your life, for your daily English. Because in professional English, we see many ways and we see much more usages, but at the moment, in order to talk, in order to speak English very comfortably, confidently and easily, if you think 
about four different ways of wood, it will be much easier for you. That's all from me about wood and if you have any further question about wood and about the usages of wood, I would be happy to reply you. Uh -huh.